Hi, everyone. This is Professor Hall. Welcome to English 124 Literature and Writing. I'm going to walk you through our Blackboard shell. Blackboard is called an LMS. That stands for Learning Management System. Since this is an online course, everything is going to take place there. So we're going to come over here to my list of classes. Um, you can see I have two sections. They look a little bit different just in terms of color, but everything else is the same. So let's go in. Okay, so first things first, sometimes this will open up for you with this uh, sidebar here collapsed. Um, so I'm going to make sure that we can see that the whole time and I'm going to be in student mode so that I'm seeing what you're seeing. This is our home page. You can see our lovely banner here. Um, announcements. Every week I have comments on what we're reading and I explain what we're going to be doing for that week. Um, and then I also in that announcement will be giving you the homework. So if I go into announcements for right now, you can see this little lovely announcement that I sent out at the end of last term. Um, just telling you kind of what to expect, all of that. So look for announcements each week. So that's on the home page. You also have to do and my tasks, needs attention, and any alerts that pop up. The next link here is syllabus and calendar. So the syllabus is right here. Just tells you all the rules for the class, making sure that you attend and that kind of thing and has the late work policy, which I've also posted here. The calendar for each week, it's set up so that it says what to read, what to watch, and what to do. So for each week, you have readings, you have um, lecture videos to watch, and then you have your assignments. All assignments are due by 11.59 p.m., the date indicated. So basically, the class is broken up into three major units. The first couple weeks we talk about short fiction, um, so all the short stories there. And then our first paper I broke up into two separate weeks. So we do a checkpoint and then we do the full paper. The second unit is about poetry, so kind of set up the same way. We learn about poetry, then we have spring break, and we learn about more poetry, and then we have our paper. So we have a checkpoint and then we have the full essay. The third unit is then on drama. So we have some short plays, we have a, a full length play, and then we have our final exam at the end. Final exam is in two parts and it also has a little bit of a different due date. So when we get to that point, just make sure that you make a note of that. But the whole calendar is there for you and you can also go to this monthly calendar view. I find this really helpful um, there we go. I'm going to click over to February. <laughs> so you can see so far some of my classes are loaded, a few aren't. But um, this just shows you what's due on a monthly basis. So if you use a planner or you're the type of person that likes to think ahead of what's coming up, everything is listed here for you. You notice like the paper checkpoints come later on in February um, and the whole semester is preloaded. So you can see the whole thing, there's spring break, um, you can see the whole thing before we get started. So that's just something that I think is kind of nice and a helpful tool. Basically, everything else is here in lessons and assignments. Um, I have a thing up here for right now. I'm going to move it over probably later, but it's about if you're using Google Docs, they don't work on Blackboard, so you have to convert it into a Word document. So there's a short video, just a minute long, about how to do that. But all of the folders for the whole term are here. They're done week to week just like the calendar, and it's pretty easy to find things. You go in, at the top is again, um, what to read, what to watch, and what to do. Then you have your stories to read, then you have the lecture videos to watch, and then you have your assignments. So every single folder is set up the same way. I'm gonna scroll up and I'm gonna just jump into a random week, um, week nine what to read, what to watch, what to do. Here um, you have uh, some poetry, uh, extra things to watch because we're working on spoken word poems that week, the lecture notes, and then the assignments. 
So that's it. Every week is set up the same way. And they're labeled so you can know um, the first five, six weeks we're working on short fiction. Then we dive into poetry and then we start talking about drama and then we've got the final exam. So that is basically it. That's where you find everything. All the lecture notes are in there. We do not have a book for this class. As you could see, um, each week I'm providing those readings for you. And I also, sometimes people like to go into discussion forums here. So I provided a separate link for that. But the discussion forums really you should be accessing or you can access through here. Um, your journals and your essays are going to be in those folders as well. But if you want to link to the discussion forums and see what's coming up, all of our discussion forums for the term are right there on the discussion forum page. The other links here are my grades, starfish, and email. Your grades you can check at any point. When you click on my grades, it'll tell you your grade so far up here. Um, anything that you do will have a score as well as a little bubble if I've left any notes for you. So if there's anything that I want you in particular to know about your work for that week, I'll put those notes in there and you can read them. If you see this little blue thing right here, it means that it's in progress. Um, I played around with this quiz just to kind of show you what this looks like. Sometimes in progress means you didn't complete it and sometimes in progress means that you tried to upload your assignment and it didn't load correctly. So if you ever have a question, hey, did that load correctly? You can go back into the folder and into the assignment, but you can also check my grades and it'll have all your grades for each item uh, all the way through the class. They're all listed right here for you. Okay, so I just went in and, and changed a few things. So now it's called your grade so far and it'll give you your percentage for the class as we go. And then you can see your score for each individual assignment. Starfish is a tool that is used by us for retention purposes, but you can go into Starfish and you can um, ask for extra help. You can um, ask for tutoring, ask to meet with your advisor, all of those kind of things you can do in Starfish. And then here, if you want to email me, you can email me directly through here, or you can go into your school email and email me from there. I also, sorry, I also have a link here for Blackboard help. So if you have any issues with Blackboard, um, you can click on that as well. But that's basically it. The home page has the banner and the announcements. The syllabus is here with the rules and then the full calendar for our course is below. Um, you can also look at that in the monthly calendar view and see all of your due dates for all of your courses at once if you want to try to coordinate things or you can look at it class by class. Everything else is in the lessons and assignments. So each folder has what to read, what to watch, and what to do. The readings are provided there for you, as are all of the lectures. And then there's the assignment right below. Um, there's a link to the discussion forums. If you want to access those particular assignments through that link, you can. And then you can check your grades at any point. So that's basically it. That's the class. If you have any questions, just email me. Um, otherwise, I look forward to getting to know everybody. Thanks.